the weighted butterfly stretch. So this is a good stretch for the hips and inner groin muscles. That's my buddy Tank. You'll see him pop in again. But this stretch, you wanna, I like to do it up against the wall because that's gonna help you relax your trunk and really focus on the stretch that we're doing, okay? So on this one, to progress, I just grab 10 pound plates. You're gonna bring your feet together, pull your heels in as close as you can. Sit tall, let those weights push you down. All right, this is a good stretch to relax, get some deep breaths in. I like to hold this one for one to two minutes and you'll gradually feel those plates just kind of push you down just a little bit more every time, all right? If this is too much for you, too extreme, you can always just do the standard butterfly stretch with no weight where you just push down with your hands so you can apply as much pressure as you need by doing it that way, all right? Next stretch, the banded three-way hip stretch. So you're gonna need a band, you get to lay down, put that band around the middle of your foot. So the first position, we're gonna stretch out the hamstring. So you can keep a slight bend in your knees. It's really hard to lock your legs out. Uh, so just keep a slight bend in that knee. You're gonna pull back on that band and feel the stretch. All right, so this is a good one to hold for about a minute where you can just kind of gradually every like five or 10 seconds, just pull back a little bit more. So that is the first position. Second position, I'm gonna transfer the band to my one hand. I'm gonna drop my leg out to the side over the top. And then my other arm, I'm going to extend so I got some good rotation. You're gonna feel this stretch in the outside of your hips. If that arm being out long was too much, you can always just bend it and bring it in. Third position, I'm gonna switch hands. I'm gonna drop my leg out to the side and pull up on my leg. So this is a stretch for your uh, inner groin muscles, so adductors and such. Similar to what your, the effects of the butterfly stretch. So that would be the third position. Don't forget to switch sides on that stretch. Last stretch we got is going to be the banded over and back shoulder stretch. So you wanna to grab towards the end of the band. You're gonna put a little tension on it, so just a little pull. Then you're gonna go all the way up and behind the body and then back in front. Try and keep this as smooth as you can. You don't want to go fast on this. Feel the stretch as you move your arms. If you struggle to get all the way back there, just find a spot behind your head and hold, all right? And then you can probably gradually lower it a little bit more. Over time, you'll be able to get those arms over and back if you struggle with that, okay? So those are all three stretches. Get at them.